I'm Stacey Dooley, and this is Luton, where I was born. I went to school here. I even worked at the airport, and then I moved away. But now I'm coming home to find out if it's true that Muslim extremists are taking over my town. It didn't take long to witness firsthand the extremism I've been hearing about. sure what they were marching for, but tensions were running high. Your sister brother, your mother, where is the case? How dare they touch our woman? It turns out the demo was in response to the arrest of local woman Mona Thorney, whose husband set off a bomb in Stockholm in 2010. I cannot believe this is happening. I've never seen anything on this scale before. And Everyone's got a right to protest, but I found their chanting provocative and extreme. This is the message to stop oppression. Police burn in hell. British police burn in hell. Yeah, because no real Muslim wants anyone to burn in hell. Yeah, because of what they've done. The you can't pick and choose. You can't pick and choose. Come on. You either believe or you disbelieve. I, you know what? You can what? choose to wear this, I choose to wear that. You and I will have to... look naked on the street. Do I look naked? Do I really? I don't look naked. Are you trying to seduce? No one's trying to seduce me, and I'm not trying to seduce anyone. You shouldn't judge me how I try not to judge you. You are. You've just said, who am I trying to seduce? No one. The well, I don't judge you because I'm above that. Excuse me, go put some clothes. How you choose to live, though, how you choose to dress like that, I choose to dress like this. Well, don't start. Don't you dare speak to me like that. No, this is my hometown as well. No, I'm walking. I am walking. No, I can do what I want. That girl's just hot. I don't mind. Point away. Point away. Because you're not scaring me. I try my hardest to sympathise with people who are maybe different to me. And it's a tiny minority that play up. Who are you trying to seduce? Go and put some clothes on. You look naked. Oh. Such a shame. Do you think it's fair that you should say British police need to burn in hell? In Islam, doesn't it say that you have to respect the law of the land that you're living in? No. Mm, I thought it did. What's the solution? You know, if Muslim people are in the wrong and they are committing crimes, you know, no one's above the law. If the law of the land is Islamic, we respect the law of the land. What if it's not Islamic? If it's not Islamic, then the law of the land and those who make it can go to hell for honestly, because Allah oh said in the Quran, gosh. in chapter 33, verse 1, he said, O Prophet, fear Allah and do not obey the disbelievers and the hypocrites. Is David Cameron a Muslim or a disbeliever? Guys, I can't speak disbeliever. on camera. So you can't, you can't, you can't obey him. So, so he can go to hell as well as all of the other leaders. Do you, do you uh, think let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Well, you're on your way to the hellfire because you're a non Muslim. All non Muslims, all non Muslims are destined for the hellfire. Do you really believe and, uh, that? Yes, and you will be fueled for the hellfire as well. But the fact is that you have an opportunity to change. That hurts me to think that you, you think that of me because you don't well, really not, know me. The and you think is, I'm the fact destined is, to hell. Well, no, but you said, you, said, you said you're not a Muslim, so that's enough for me to know that you're not Muslim. So if you're not Muslim, you're destined for the hellfire, unless you change. I find it sad that anyone would preach such a damning message. To sum up in words, even to tell you how I'm feeling right now, I feel um, completely gutted. I'm gutted that this is happening. I'm 